Hello guys, I am one month late for this video, but I am two years on testosterone. To those of you who don't know, I am a trans guy, which means that I am transitioning from female to male, and I get testosterone injected in my butt every third month, because my body can't produce it on its own, so I need medical help to get it into my body. So there's that. Basically I've been going through a second puberty and that's been quite a hell of a ride. So here I am, ready to talk about all the changes and stuff that has happened to me and my body in these past two years. Let's go. Let's take the physical changes first. The very first thing I noticed after starting tea was that my throat got really sore, like really, really sore. And this was only a few days after starting it so, yeah, I don't know what causes it, but I guess it has something to do with the testosterone and the body uh, adjusting to it or something. I've heard about other trans guys who has experienced, experienced exactly the same thing, so yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Only a few weeks after, there was some changes happening downstairs, if you know what I mean. There was some growth going on and it was kind of uncomfy but it was a quick process so yeah that happened <laughs> and while we're talking about downstairs stuff um, my period stopped after like uh, just a short month on tea it stopped completely and that means that i haven't had it in two years now uh, which is insane and it's one of the best things that has ever happened to me i do not miss it the next thing that changed was my voice, and as you can hear, it has changed a lot. Um, before tea, I thought it was deep, but then I started tea and I just got mind blown. I think I started to notice changes in my voice pretty early. Around three months on tea, you could clearly hear a difference. And after that, it just continued to drop and drop and drop and drop until it was almost uh, one year on tea. Uh, then it started to stabilize itself and as you can hear now, I don't think it has dropped anymore uh, since one year on tea, so it's basically the same. But uh, you can judge yourself, I'm running a comparison video, of course, so just listen. This is my voice, pre one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, ten months, eleven months, one year, two years on testosterone. Then we have my body and face. My body has changed quite a lot as everything else, but before my body was more of a pear shape uh, and now it's more of a V shape because my upper body is more broad and my shoulders are wider and yeah, it's, it's more like a V shape basically. I've also gotten a lot more muscle mass and that is mostly thanks to T because I haven't been working out too much these two years. Uh, I started working out like a month ago and it's going really well and I'm very motivated for it but uh, what I was going to say is that pre-testosterone I could barely do like one push up but when I was like half year on T I could instantly do 10 push ups. And that is mad. I managed to fracture my rib when I was about a half year on tea and I couldn't work out for one year because uh, yeah, the pain was insane. And uh, now I start working out again and it's, yeah, I'm motivated and I'm really uh, focused on shaping my body to how I want it to be. And I also want a healthy body. So I feel really good with myself at the moment and I just hope that I can keep the motivation on top for a while. <laughs> and you can really see the difference in my arms, especially from pre-T until now. My arms is just exploding compared to what there was before. I didn't notice before that they were really, really noodles, but they were. <laughs> now I've actually got some biceps going on and that is cool. Unfortunately, T did not give me top surgery, which I'm really mad about. <laughs> I really wish it did, uh, but I'm still waiting for top surgery and uh, hysterectomy as well. And it seems like uh, suddenly it will not happen before 
uh, before the autumn. So yeah, I just need to put on the waiting phase for a little longer. And but it will come, and it will come this year. So I'm very hyped about it. Uh, and what T did is that it has flattened my chest at least. So uh, that is good. For example, now I'm not using any binder. I'm just using this, and yeah, it's kind of flat. My face has changed. Uh, I think it is very difficult to put a finger on exactly what has changed in my face on myself, but something has changed and I can see that something has changed. Uh, it's more square and uh, more, more masculine, uh, so yeah. Pretty early in the process I got an Adam's apple, which I find really cool and since I'm so skinny it's very visible. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Hair growth is a thing that happens when you are on testosterone. Who would have thought that? In my opinion that is the most interesting thing that happens next to the voice drop. So yeah, hair is growing everywhere. Basically I've gotten more hair where I already had hair. For example, my legs, in my thighs, in my arms, in my hands and everywhere. But I've also gotten hair on places I've never really had any hair before. So yeah, again, that is interesting. <laughs> I've gotten hair on my stomach. It's not a shitload of hair, but it's definitely more hair. Or it is here. I never had really hair on my stomach, but now it is here, there. Yeah, I've got some beard growth going on, and I don't think that you can see it on the camera, but I promise I do. I really do, and it's gotten stronger and stronger for every single day. It's gotten a lot of hair. So basically, what's been happening with my beard this year, since my one year on tea, is that the hair has been getting. Uh, darker, a lot darker. Before I need to use a flashlight to actually be able to see it in the mirror, but now it's just there, I can see it very clearly. Uh, it's not too long since I shaved, uh, or I never really clean shave, I just trim it because uh, my skin will break out so badly if I clean shave. Let's see if you can see some of the beard. All right, that's enough of my skin close-up. My eyebrows got darker and visible, and my hairline is more square than it was before. Before it was more like a, this shape, but now it's squared out, and my hairline is receding a bit. Whoops. And I'm starting to get some weird hair popping up on random places on my shoulders. I don't know what I feel about it, but yep. And my chest has gotten some tiny, tiny hairs. Oh, and it's growing like a forest inside of my nose. Ew. As for the mental changes, wow. My self-confidence has boosted so much, you would not believe it. It feels amazing to look in the mirror and see more and more of a body that looks like my body and matches my inner. I haven't been misgendered in over one and a half year now and I've never felt so at peace with myself as I do now. Some people still think that I'm 18 or 19 years old and they get so surprised when I tell them that I'm 25, they barely believe me and I hate it but uh, at least I don't look like I'm 15 years old anymore. Other than that, I feel nothing but great. I do still experience dysphoria once in a while, especially when I'm around a lot of cis guys maybe, but compared to how it was before I started transitioning, this is nothing. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy how I'm already two years on tea. I'm so looking forward to see how tea and life will treat me in the next two years or 10 years or 20 years or 100 years. So I feel absolutely great and I've not for one single second regretted my decision to start testosterone. It was absolutely the right decision for me. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching it and I will see you again in my next video. Goodbye.